Hi, let us understand more in detail about policies. In the earlier lecture, we were discussing about how to attach a policy to a user and how to attach a policy to a roles and its benefits. We need to understand more in detail about how to create these policies, what is its syntax and how to attach it to the role or any user. Policy is nothing but it will help us to govern what should be the behavior of a client and that's going to be the base instrumentation for creating role-based access control. And role-based access control is going to provide many specific privileges or authorization to any user. So within policies, we will be defining what type of authorization and to what path. Because within HashiCorp Vault, everything is a path. And whenever we initialize the vault, the root policy automatically it will get created. That's a special policy where it will be having all the super user privileges and it will have access permissions to even the root path. Along with the root policy, there will be another policy that will get created. It's called a default policy and that will get attached to all the users and tokens. It will not have any specific mention about what path or which path will have what type of access. Basically, you can assume that's like a policy without any details within it. And HashiCorp follows the concept of secure by default so that every empty policy will not give any permission to any path within the system. Explicitly, we need to mention the permission that needs to be set against any user or against any path. And policies will be written using HashiCorp configuration language and it is going to have a syntax like I will be defining what path and what are all the capabilities that particular path can have. And capabilities, there are a number of capabilities available like create, read, update, delete and list. These are all the associated HTTP verb against the capabilities. Say in case if I wanted to do any post or put the capability equivalent to that, it could be create or update. And for get, it will be read and for delete, it will be delete and list, list. Along with this, we do have the other capabilities like sudo, which will have permission like a root user and every path will be having every privileges. And deny, it's going to explicitly disallow the access. So here I can have the list of capabilities and against the path, I can have a number of path and it can accept wildcard as well. We need to remember two important wildcard that is star and plus. Star, it's very similar to the generic wildcard where anything can be replaced instead of star. Plus, generally it will be replaced for any specific directory within the path. Say for example, if I have a path like secret slash add slash plus and then the stage, instead of plus, I can have any directory. Say I may have version 1, version 2. Sometimes while doing the deployment, we may have different folder for different versions. And if I wanted to give access to all the folders or all the versions getting created over there, then I can use plus. Plus generally we will be using it in futuristic perspective. We may not know what are all the folders that may get created over there. In that case, I will be using plus. And that's going to create a generic path and star everything will be replaced in the sense training underscore anything after underscore will be mapped to this particular star. So these are all the two different type of wildcard we will be using it while creating the path. So this is a quick example on how a policy would look like. Here I am creating a path my secret slash data slash that means everything within my secret path and all the data related path will be having create and update permission and within my secret path slash data for view only folder explicitly it will be having read only permission and remember as we discussed earlier whenever i am going to work with the data i will be appending data against the secret engine path in case if i am going to work with the metadata here it will be a metadata and within HashiCorp Vault, there are some API endpoints which can be accessed only by the root privileges. And these API points will be handling the tokens, authentication details, certificate signing, audit. And accessing this particular API endpoints needs to have 
root privileges. Let's understand more in detail about the policies by creating a sample policy and attach it to a token. As a part of this lecture, we had a theoretical overview on how the policy syntax would look like and different type of wildcard that can be used and what is root protected API endpoints. As a part of next lecture, we will discuss more in detail about the policies by creating a demo.